I'm Anna Calvi. My record is called One Breath. Um, I guess the first time was just a huge surprise and this time it is even more of a surprise because to, to have both my records be nominated um, is it's pretty amazing and it's great to come back uh, having the experience of being touring and, and ma made a second record and I guess feeling a little bit more comfortable in, in this kind of situation and being able to enjoy it more. This record, I was, because of the place I was in, I was really interested in exploring the feeling of being out of control and how it can be very scary, but it can also be really thrilling. And um, just a feeling of ugliness and beauty and how, how to make these two things coexist. And I, I went back to France to record this record, so I have some really amazing memories of being in this beautiful old studio in, in France, in the middle of the countryside, and recording live with my band. And um, yeah, it was just great to be back in the studio and, and have the peace and quiet of this, this beautiful environment. Well, I think it's a really interesting shortlist, and, that, and I'm really familiar with some and not at all familiar with others. So I'm looking forward to, to listening to these albums that have come to my attention through this prize, which is what's so great about it. I love the FKA Twigs record and Damon Albans record and Bombay Bicycle. They're probably my, my favorite, but I'm looking forward to listening to the other ones and, and getting to know them better. The first record I ever bought was Aladdin Sane by David Bowie and um, I saved up all my pocket money and I, and I bought it and I chose it out of all of the David Bowie records because of the cover. I was really intrigued by this cover and this album has been a huge influence on me because it's just really brave, it's really melodic, it's really strange and it has these amazing pop songs with really unusual songs like Lady Grinning Soul and Aladdin Sane. It's still one of my favourite records of all time and I'm really happy that I bought that record and not MC Hammer, which I was considering, so I think I made the right choice. I think because it had such an influence on me and it was my first record, I think my favourite album of all time would be Aladdin insane because I feel like my my whole musical journey started that day that I picked this this record so this was this would be my favorite I guess some of the things that I recorded I did in my attic at home and um, some of that ended up on my record um, even at one point, there's my, my dad is singing in the background, and that, that made my records. Eclectic, innovative, and um, surprising.